Welcome back generals to more Contra. Today it's time to learn something new. This video is for those players which want to improve, want to play multiplayer matches against humans, not camping against AI. That will not help here. If you want to still play against AI, you should immediately close this video. Okay, basically what you need is using your shortcuts. You need to start sh using shortcuts. That is the first step to improve your gameplay. I will show you why. We will now play against one AI because it won't be insane one. He's too strong now. This is just instructions how to play so we can start to learn something let's do this okay so first thing you should now when black screen is here you should click D key and that's for dozer and your dozer is already building now R key is for reactor that's the basic shortcuts you you, you can remember it's if you just few of them you can see power is R, B barracks, U supply, and so on. M is Patriot missile system, L aviation pad, and so on. Okay, we are now waiting power to complete. You can move your dozer near the supply and click U key, and of course, build it immediately. These dozer need to go here. As you say, it's not, it's not important to build here near the supply because your Chinooks are flying and can gather money wherever you place the supply. So that that's not a big deal if not near the. Okay, click on the supply and C key is for Chinook. You can build it immediately and now L key. L key is for aviation pad <coughs> or airfield immediately C key and A key okay we don't have money for A key we can L again so two aviation pads we can build okay now what you can do is wait there are two Chinooks each you always should build two Chinooks not three three of them is just waste of money this is full full income for now <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, now we should build F-18 Hornets, at least two. Let's see what opponent is. It's a Flame General, okay. So basically, with the powers, you should always use Supply Drone first. Because you need to see everything as Air, air Force always build some about here where their flanks you can see now the, if they are coming on the left side on the right side okay now basically what you should do is when you have some planes go for select one and click control one as you can see there is now one number here that means when you click on the keyboard number one he is showing up and you can go whatever you want okay it's always good to have your planes up in the air click control 2 control 3 control 4 okay and control 5 we have one full airfield on the right side you have shortcut to select all the planes select all the planes and click G key that's for guard click them here somewhere and they're guarding here that's always good okay basically what now we should do is building some tanks as Air Force tanks are must especially coyotes which are good against uh, against anti-air units don't forget to place your supply spy, spy drop zones uh, actually spy spy drones on the sides which is always good to see upcoming attacking attack 
upcoming tanks so you can use them wisely of course you have spy satellite and you can also scan everything okay we have now one two three four five clicking on the keyboard okay and we are now waiting his attack I will show you in this airfield we will do some F-16s to try to destroy this defenses here also what is good thing as Air Force this little unit sentry droid which is very good scout and now he's attacking you see now you just you don't have to go here select your unit and select here no you just click one and click on the unit and we will wait here our unit will come as you can see on the minimap he's coming and that's it and you are finished when you click one and on the unit you are basically finished you can do something else you can you can go here s send your units here here I don't know whatever you want okay spy drones should be sent on the sides and all all over the map to have much vision as you can okay they're attacking that that's not the problem they destroy my supply which I which I didn't see didn't have sound okay it will rebuild it no problem okay always put your planes up in the air select them all and G key and somewhere where you want okay guys we are now waiting for another attack but till then we will try to attack Ready for coordinates. some defenses okay five is more than enough but no problem we will I'll show you some trick okay now the because there is two hornets enough for one for one anti-air you should use one and two click and click two of them and that's it easily kill three four but you must remember what you used one and two are now busy they're reloading but three and four are ready also now one and two are ready send them one two one two very nice That's basically it for for Hornets and also you can use it on every plane. Ready for coordinates. These planes are also awesome against but you need to know how to use them. Okay, let's use one plane against this. Click S and now attack. As you can see, they are attacking from the long distance. One, two, three, four, five. You can see they are easily going down. These two will destroy this, this one, and this tank is going down. Of course, it's always good if you don't have to use bombers anymore. You can sell it and build more hornets. And always do the same: one, two, three, four. And use against tanks: one, two, three. And now there are some quiets. Always use your planes on battlemasters. You can always one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. You saw how it, it's easy, how easy is to play as Air Force if you use your shortcuts. One, two. Heavy armor ready for action. Taking new ground. Channels open. 
Okay, this is disappear, but you can click control and he's dead. Fourth fire on the ground. And I defeated them. All of tanks. It's only thanks to these shotguns, which are very useful. Of course, if you have a lot of planes, you can use two of these with group number one. It's, it's the same. You select two of them and click control one. And now two of them are number one. So it means that if you click one and on the air unit, you will destroy it immediately. Two of them will destroy it. Yes, sir. Ready for okay, orders. one, Scanners enabled. Pilot responding. two, Channels open. three, four, Scanners enabled. one, two, yes, sir. Ready three, for orders. four. Scanners enabled. Pilot responding. Didn't click on the fort. My bad. Yes, sir. Ready for orders. One is enough. Our base is being attacked. Yeah. All the planes going up because the unit was so close. Of course, Comanches are always good. You can build some of them. On your command. Anywhere you say, sir. Armor detail reporting. These coyotes are excellent against this. Vortexes, as you can see, they destroy it very, very easy. That's basically why you should destroy only Battlemasters. Second rank is very useful to use fight training, fighter training. All your planes will be built with the rank 1 and also Comanches. As you can see here, Comanches, F-35, Raptors and Hornets Unit are building as one star. Ok, you can click all of them and click S. That means they will all back to the airfields. Frog missiles are, are back to the rank 1, so you can use it. You can use it at the first first rank, so that's not a problem anymore to redirect your missiles. Okay, let's use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Now click all of them and guard here. And now you can attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pilot responding. And look now how fast they will destroy everything. Congratulations, General. And that's it. But they're attacking on the left side, so... Basically, they will load up very, very quickly. You have already three of them. But you have three. Nine, zero, and eight. Let's use them. Nine zero eight. Also one two three. And what is this? This is very 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 easy. Channels open. Scanners enabled. Yes, sir. Ready for orders. Channels open. System on. Take it out. Scanners enabled. Also Comanches, you can use tanks, you can use everything, so that's basically very very easy. If your spy drone has been destroyed, you should always repeat them where he was. You need to check the sites. As you can see they can hide very very sneaky and... Yes sir, ready for orders. Command? Yes sir, ready for orders. Yes sir, ready for orders. One, two. Command? Systems on. Pilot with channels open. Easily destroyed. Scanners enabled. You can double click yes, sir, and orders. it will show you Command. immediately. Channels open. USA Armor Division. System Three and four. Going. 
to destroy this one too. That's it. Isn't it easy? Of course you can use more of hotkeys. You have a lot of numbers. Group them. One, two, three, four and five. Yes, sir. Ready for orders. Click here and guard mode. And they are in the air. They should be always in the air. Frequencies open. Scanners and now click one. They will destroy. Because there are two of them. With number one. Is it better than selecting your unit yes, sir, and click orders. on the on the attacking unit? So that's Let's Systems use 2, 3, 4, 5. On. Very, very easy. Yes, sir. And at least Man, you can use these Comanches. If there is not a lot of anti-air units, you can destroy it. Very easy. That's basically same against human player. If you see he's attacking with his battle masters only, then use your Comanches or Hornets. Maybe it's better to use your Comanches because you need to save your Hornets for another group of tanks. But when you destroy Battle Masters, then if only anti-air left, you can use your tanks then. It's very, very easy. Always send your droids for scout. Click one and click on them. I know this is probably looking hard for you because you never use your shortcuts, but it's not trust me you need to try if you try it it will be much much easier to understand and organize your play you can see now this anti air is useless basically useless against these tanks so most important thing is to destroy battle masters and you can enjoy then destroying with comanches Yeah, basically that's it, and now you can push, build third airfield, fourth, some supply drop zones. New construction. Good area. I'll soon get. Uh, actually, I get rank three already, so A10 is always good to use. Of course, strategy center is most important. You can use everywhere on the defenses and tanks. It's very hard to hit a group of tanks with A10 because it can be seen from very long distance. But it's mostly against defenses, which is very fine to use. I have a lot of tanks, a lot of money, so I didn't spend because I just want to show you how to play with shortcuts. Also, we can sell if you need. Don't need this. If you have a lot of money, build strategy center and turn your planes into the F-35s. If you don't need F-18 anymore. Okay, let's do again. One, two, three. Actually, I don't have. I sell it. Okay. We only have two. Unit lost. It's not enough, but we destroy lot of them you can take your tanks go back and destroy the rest of anti-air units I didn't use frog missiles I don't need it congratulations general you have been promoted very easy prey for tanks Isn't it easy to play as Air Force? You just need a little, little practice. 
to play against human player, not against only AI and camping and waiting him to attack and getting rank 5, build 10 nuclear missiles and destroy them. That's not interesting at all. But you should play against humans, which is more and more interesting. Far more interesting. Great games. You can see also on my channel a lot of 1v1 or 2v2, 3v3 even games. Okay, if you see like he's attacking only with battle masters, you don't have, you don't need two, two planes on one key. So one, two, three, four, five. Now you need five separately, and one, two, three, four, and tanks are gone. Five. If there is no anti-air, freely use your Comanches to destroy the rest of the units. And I can do this like forever against AI. <laughs> you can, you see how stupid he is. Okay, so basically that's it for Air Force General. I will. I can show you now just some F-16 how to use long range attack we can sell this one of course as I said already build some F-35 which are excellent units especially against tanks group of tanks Comanches can be used also against tanks so very easy destroy one goes down second goes down very easy yeah F-35 also here okay for example here what you should use as, as air force mostly is uh, search and destroy because these units will, will fire will fire a lot from higher distance than they do without search and destroy they have longer range Also good unit is I designator I which I will show you what he is doing it's excellent unit for destroying defenses tunnels uh, if you fight against GLA artillery deployed, we will destroy artillery deployed. this unit is combined with uh, Pavel Law which is against defenses mostly against defenses I will show you now Okay, let's see first bombers. Two bombers are enough. We'll take that area. Copy that. Copy that. Eh, when they are red, you can use a long range. I am here. I am here. You see, they're untouchable. And of course they destroyed this defense. For example, this guy is also very, very strong. And very long ranged, as you can see. In one shot, he can destroy one defense, which is awesome. Two of them can destroy everything. But of course, they are very slow, very painful to watch till next fire. But. They are very very useful. They're done. So basically they are excellent with, with this eye designator. But without them they are not just that great. You need to combine everything. That's why Air Force is not for beginners. Which you need a lot of micro, a lot of control one, control two, control three every time. So basically you need speed, you need precision everything as Air Force that's why he's not for everyone okay guys basically that's it as Air Force General and I just forgot one thing our Burton has some update here of course I just want stealth upgrade is very very useful but first you should take supply lines your 
Chinooks will gather $60 more or 10% also if you have oils you will get 10% from oils okay let's build the Burton and see what's up these pilots also you can build some of them and put into the planes and they will get ranked up that's also very good but also very expensive this transport unit is good uh, because you can transport your tanks or some dozers to some places and your dozers will not be destroyed when this guy is destroyed they will just pop out okay there is a burton and this A10 it's not actually A10 it's very very much nerfed because A10 was overpowered he can destroy most of the bases of, of the enemy everything two three shots for war factory and that's it war factory is down but now is a little different plane some jet attacker it's not that strong but it's also I think stealth when you upgrade the upgrade complete. yeah stealth covering now he's stealth yeah as you can see he's stealth now but it's very useful you can use it against some group of tanks or anything you can use those to crush the soldiers when capturing that's also very important because many people have confused when their building is capturing <laughs> so that's they they don't know what to do you just go your video dozer and run over them I have experience. we have now some pilots Pilot of the USA. I have experience. which now this with three Anything stars are not used for this but for this which don't have any Upgrading any promotion where do you need me? Find me a vehicle. as you can see now they're ranking up uh, and they are much stronger now Anything to drive? it's very useful but as I said Power it's on. much more Full micro power. and some Operational. spending money if you have to throw you can build them I think I show you everything also frog missiles are at the rank one now mostly because of tank general which is very very strong against the air force of course there is a um, little aviation pad or special aviation pad which build actually big aircraft like chimeras and your super unit wyvern which is hell for tanks, group of tanks, he's hell. Almost can be destroyed. We nerfed him a lot. I mean on health. But still it's untouchable. Very very rare. You can destroy him. What you can use also these chimeras on defenses they're not great against tanks but against defenses, defenses they are excellent as air force you need to have initiative if you lose initiative you will lose a game because air force is not, is not for defending it's for offensive you need every time to attack all the time attack and do, do something if you do not if you wait if your enemy builds up like 20 internet centers or anything you will probably lose the game so basically it's not very easy just to, Let's get to the front. sit and wait also you can use click G key here and he will attack immediately yeah they're excellent against defenses they're melting down it. Comanches are now stealth also excellent thing for Comanches is rocket pods which can group of Comanches can destroy command center even which is the hardest building in the game 
very very fast in one shot they can use they can destroy command center okay guys basically I think that's it I'll show you almost everything that as Air Force you need to use your shortcuts if you want to become a good player without shortcuts you you just won't get a badge of pro player if I can say like that command is always good attacking on the flanks going around but as you know AI is building lots of defenses so you can do anything he's cheating on money so he basically have unlimited money but of course in contra there is unlimited possibilities to destroy the enemy so you won't get Let's out get of ideas yes, sir. it's very very hard to destroy the enemy without your ground units without coyotes or valances it's very hard to use only planes you need to use in tanks too you need to combine your units and attack at the same time okay guys that is a little tutorial so don't forget to use your keys control 1 control 2 control 3 control 4 and control 5 Powered on take off and just attack and now AI is afraid to attack me because I killed a lot of his units he's still rank 1 I'm like almost rank 5 <laughs> so that means if you play very good as air force you are unstoppable and you are unbeatable but that means impossible because Human players are not AI, as I mentioned, and they're much smart smarter. And you will not play like this, like I play against AI. You won't get through like this, very easy. Okay, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. There will be more for all generals, how to play and how to build, and using some shortcuts some tactics and so on okay thank you for watching and I hope this video helps you to improve I can call you to join our discord and uh, click the link below and don't afraid to play multiplayer games don't afraid to lose it's just a game have fun and I wish you all the best goodbye